Hello and welcome, this is LCS Recap and this is the final game of the first day of the European Super Week. It's Lemon Dogs and it's Ninjas in Pyjamas. Lemon Dogs probably going to all come down to whether they can bubble anyone up as my, uh, Mithy is going to manage to land his crescendo. Deficio going very low, there's the expunge. Here comes a Requiem out of Karthus. Maluno going super low there as well. They're going to be able to kill him. There is a teleport coming out now for Bjergsen. Well, what is he really going to be able to do? Mithy actually going back in, there's a stun going down. Bjergsen not going to get any more from that. And just like that, First Blood comes with a double in the top lane. That is real. This game was ultimately a farm fest with only two kills at 20 minutes. That's Twister Fates coming in. There's the slow and the flash away. Only a slow card pulled out there, but Spray and Prey going to give Tabs the range. Nicely executed. Patient play there from Tabs, really setting them up. And that was Freeze farming at his own turret. And he can't even do that safely now. That just shows you how much in control Lemon Dogs are of this game. I'm serious, there are only five clips in this entire video. Slingshot in here from the backside. Mordero gets hit with it and says, well, don't really care too much. Destiny coming out as well. And Nuka going in on towards Bjergsen. Here comes Tab, the rat coming out of the uh, uh, out of the jungle there. But now we are going to see him go down. Requiem comes around and that will be a kill back for Bjergsen. Great job of him. He gets uh, actually a much needed kill for him. But finally, as the Baron is snatched up by Lemon Dogs, a Hemo Plague starts off some action. Bjergsen absolutely melted in that one. Zoro Zero on the top side. There is a Requiem coming in. There's a three man crescendo as well. Mimer at the back doing a good job. He's going to get his passive procs as Freeze will pick up one as well. And actually, this is not looking all that bad, but NIP are getting very, very low in this one. There's the Wither down. Zoro Zero still have his flash available if he wants to go super aggressive, but in the end, his life and more importantly that Baron buff definitely going to be uh, worth more and now they can put down some good damage especially with Nuke Duck there onto this turret. And that was a two for two against the Baron of Lemon Dogs. Throughout this match Lemon Dogs had immense objective control giving them a 15 and a half thousand gold lead with only nine kills in the entire game. No HP, he's dead. And they're going to go for this uh, in this inhibitor turret, and I think they're going to have it away here. One more attack will get it down. Bjergsen going on towards Zoro Zero, who's pulled up, but there's the stun. Zoro Zero, is he going to be able to escape? Yes, yes for now, but there is the ulti. The Zonya's going to cancel it out completely. Nuke Duck is left to destroy that inhibitor. Bottom inhibitor has gone down as well. In the meantime, Mima here is trying to get in on towards them, but honestly, they've got enough damage to finish off. Dexter actually getting that one. There's a Cataclysm over towards Maluno and another finely executed plan from Lemon Dogs gets them two and now a third inhibitor. And that's pretty much going to be game for them. They should be able to push this are these waves in. And they have card this down for quite a while. Mimer down for quite a while. And Joe, I think Lemon Dogs are going to pick up a very easy win. This is going to be the victory for them. 9 3, not spectacular in kills, but the plan that Lemon Dogs came with here was perfectly executed and has even more solidified that position at the top of the table. I would use terms like late game advantage and careful play and biding their time, but I'm sorry Lemon Dogs and Ninjas in Pyjamas, this game was just bloody boring. But I'm sure there'll be more action by the end of the week, check the rest of the games out in the bottom left.